So I just got to the hotel, New York, so it's a small room, but it's nice and comfy. Low profile bed. And then across the street is McCarran Park. So I believe like around over there is where the race is gonna start. And that's why I stayed here because um, it's close to the start line. And I don't have to worry about driving or subbing, so going to the subway somewhere to get to the start. And that park is really nice. I'll show you the road. This is a tennis court section of the park. Tennis courts and pickleball. And then there's like tons of people running and walking dogs. Ah, oh, it's awesome. So um, I'm gonna settle in a little bit and uh, I am starving. So then we're gonna go find um, a restaurant to eat at. Um, the girl said, the, the receptionist is actually, or just moved here from San Antonio. <laughs> um, she says this area in Williamsburg is like really nice and safe and that like, there's a lot of people that have moved here from California. So this is a lot of gluten-free vegan stuff. So right up my alley. So uh, I'm going to go get something to eat because I have a headache. But uh, I'm just going to freshen up and stuff. And then I will be on my way. All right. So we're out and about now. I'm going to go get something to eat. I found this pizza place that has gluten-free pizza. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I have a feeling all those lights are for the marathon or maybe they always have them and it's for nighttime I guess but this is where the marathon's gonna or half marathon's gonna be that's the awesome park over there it's 57. So for me, it's cold, so I'm wearing a hoodie because it's 57. When you're coming from Texas, it's it's cold. <laughs> There's a little breeze too. So this is the mural of Andy Warhol Warhol and Michael, sorry, this is the mural of Andy Warhol and uh, Jean Michael Basquiat. It's famous. Pizza from Vinny's Pizza. It was gluten free. Um, of course, I love Hawaiian, so I put pineapple and ham on it. So let's try it. Mm. All right, let's try these here. Mm. Mm. Man, that's really good. Wow. 
I think that's the best gluten free pizza I've ever had. It's not like frozen gluten free cauliflower pizza. <laughs> um, I've ordered from other places in San Antonio like gluten free pizzas. Oh, they do not taste like this. It's still thin, you know, because gluten free is not as thick as like a regular one. But, oh my god. The flavor. Well, sometimes you don't have as much of a flavor as a regular pizza. Mmm. So this one does. Mmm. Welcome in Vinny's on Bedford Avenue. If you ever come to Williamsburg in Brooklyn. Or you want you need or you want gluten free pizza? It's a place to go. Very much so. Mm -hmm. It's all quiet now. The pickleball courts and tennis courts have been cleared. I guess they closed them. You can see all the lights over there from the shops. It is cold here. I underestimated. I think how. Uh, cold it is because it was I think gonna be mid 50s and I was like yeah it's not that bad in San Antonio it's not too bad it feels colder here <laughs> so I totally underestimated um how how cold it is and uh, so now I'm thinking how cold is it gonna feel then Sunday morning because I think Sunday morning is the high, it's a high of 67 so I'm thinking it's either in the morning gonna be like upper 40s to mid 50s so <laughs> we'll see I mean I did bring long sleeves and stuff but um, not like the the heat wear you know so I may have to probably maybe put a hoodie on top I did bring hoodies and stuff so uh, maybe that will save me but I guess I'll have to see how it how it feels I guess tomorrow morning I'll see how it feels and kind of judge that on Sunday morning to see what I end up wearing <laughs> for the race so tomorrow I am planning on going to go grab my packet in the morning um, and then I have the play at 2 o'clock. Um, yeah, and so excited to, to do that. Excited to go to the expo and see, you know, vendors they have there and stuff. Get Pick up my bib number. Um, they're doing it by corrals, uh, by different corrals, different waves, right? So according to your the corral you're assigned to, that will also be assigned to a wave that's the time you have to be at the start line so um, I'll find out tomorrow what time I need to be at the start line and they said don't be there beforehand because they won't let you in until it's your wave and your corral so um, but uh, but like I said um, it's gonna be up the street so I'm really close by so I, I shouldn't really have any trouble with that so yeah so I'm just gonna rest up today tonight and I'll get up and get an early start in the morning tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. <laughs>
I think I'm gonna go there for some breakfast and then head uh, to the subway to buy my pass and hopefully, hopefully get to the place uh, at the right, in the right direction and everything. Um, they said to use Google Maps um, that will lead you to the right subway station and the right path and stuff. So, so we'll see. Uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Talk to you in a bit. Yeah, so they're still setting things up for tomorrow. Beautiful day. It's pretty quiet. It's early in the morning. Which is good for me because maybe the subway won't be so busy. It's amazing though. It's not, it's not very cold. Thought it was, of course I have my jacket on. So. <laughs> so we'll see how it feels tomorrow. I may not use my hoodie. Once you start running, it gets it gets warm anyway. There it is. That's a big old place. It smells so good already. <laughs> I'm starving once again. Oh, it's busy. It's a small little place. here I guess since you know the buildings don't have a lot of room inside because I mean it's New York everything's packed they have these little built out places on the outside so people can come sit outside yeah pretty cool The Willsboro Hotel, how cool is that? Oh. Arlo Williamsburg is our hotel. Something to note for next time. That building denotes where I should turn. <laughs> Look at all these little taco trucks. Well, this is where my people are. <laughs> Look at that building. Oh, look at the view of that. I need to go down there later, take a picture. I'm gonna have to save my legs for tomorrow. Otherwise, I'd be going more places. After tomorrow morning, it's free game on my legs. <laughs> Poor legs. Yeah, poor legs. After 13.1, I'm gonna get them more miles. So, okay, it'll be like I ran a marathon, right? <laughs> oh, well, these are gorgeous over here. It's gorgeous. A lot of character. Ooh, look at that view. Look at that. As you can see it if I don't block it. Look at that. Like I said, we'll have to go down there after the run. Ooh, look at this. She got a campaign. Look at that. Amazon Music Breakthrough. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. More people running. <sighs> I have a feeling I need to move out. <laughs> I think once I pay my house, it's free game. I'll still keep my house in San Antonio, but I can venture out into other cities. I'll live there for a while. Explore. And if God willing, I can continue to work from home that would be awesome. Right. 
I'd really like to go somewhere where there's more activity, you know, people are more active. And here it's like, everyone can run like in the street. Like, I mean, Texas is really big, which is awesome because not everything is condensed, but it makes it hard to get to safe places to run, you know, because there's so much traffic and big streets and people do not, you know, protect pedestrians or bikers there. It's not just, there's not a culture there like that, so. Yeah, this is awesome. And you can get to anything here easily walking. You can't do that in Texas. And we don't have a subway or train or anything. So you kind of need to drive everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, the birdies. There it is, tomorrow morning. You gotta watch it for bikers, though. So. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm sure it'll be the biggest race. Uh, I've ever done. I mean, the biggest I think I've ever done is I mean, the San Antonio Rock and Roll. A lot of people from out of town go to San Antonio for that. But I think this is going to be even bigger. So it'll be interesting. Interesting to see. But coming up on my hotel here, I'm showing it to you. Dakota Williamsburg. So I guess that's a little lounge. Okay, a bar. I hadn't seen that. But that's the entrance to the hotel. And so this is the hotel. It's nice. It's in the good area. It's right in front of the start, so I'm happy with it. There we go, they got a little doggy here. only had like a couple of chairs or tables outside to eat and people were on them so uh, I just decided to walk back to the hotel eat it here and they also had a buy two uh, buy one get one free bagel sandwich so I had two bagel sandwiches so I was I was gonna have to come back anyway and drop it off at the, at the room anyway hey okay. I'm back in the room I'm open up my bagel um, I got a turkey, cheese, and egg on a gluten-free bagel. Uh, so, um, yay, they had gluten-free bagels, and it was, like I said, it was buy one, get one free. And what's cool about this place is that they give a portion of all their profits to, uh, it's called Angel's Cafe, and it's named Angel's Cafe because they benefit, um, I think it's called the Northern Angels Food Program, so, um, they give a percentage of their profit to a, a program here in Brooklyn who, who feeds the the people in need of, of uh, meals. So I, that's that's pretty cool. Um, it was like thirteen dollars, but I got two bagels. So I mean, well, and I bought a, a latte too. So of course that was included. In it, but that's not bad because now I have like breakfast and either probably lunch or dinner. So and I still have half of half of the pizza left over from yesterday too. So I got I'm hoarding food. <laughs> Um, that's the one thing, and, and that's a girl from the lobby who was from San Antonio. She just moved here. She was like, asked her how she liked it, and she said, I love it because there's a lot more things to do, you know, more restaurants, a lot of more variety and stuff, which, yeah, I can I can tell. Um, but she says the one thing I don't like is uh, all the distances, of course. Like I was saying, everything in, uh, uh, I mean, everything's close here, but she said it's longer to take because, I mean, the traffic is really bad, so to drive would take forever, but then the subway takes forever, too. <laughs> but, uh you know, and, and the other thing she says is everything here is like way more expensive, of course, than in San Antonio. So, um, yeah, that's what, one thing she said. But, um, I mean, that, and, and, I mean, you get a lot, well, at least for me, like I couldn't finish uh, a personal pizza all in one sitting for myself. So I have two meals and now I got a, an extra bagel. So, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, $13, but you get two meals out of it. So it's not, it's not bad. It's about like what, seven fifty each or something like that. Um, yeah, so, so let's try it. Yeah. In San Antonio, the only gluten-free bagels that I, I can ever find are like in the, at Sprouts or HEB, like the gluten-free section. You know, the frozen ones and stuff are not, not very good, but it's all I have, so I'm excited to try something that's made in, in a bakery, a bagel bakery, you know, factory. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Look at that. With the ham and the egg, the cheese and the bagel. 
Definitely better than the Udon's frozen bagels I eat at home. Mm -hmm. And I do try to make my own little bagel sandwich at home, but <laughs> of course it's never the same as in a restaurant, right? <laughs> For the bread, it's definitely not the same. So I'm gonna finish this and then we'll head out to the subway, get our metro car, and hopefully get to the uh, expo because I have the um, the, um, the play at two o'clock and that's in New York, like not in Brooklyn, it's in New York, so I gotta get my butt over there and it's probably like an hour subway ride too, so uh, gotta make time for that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. I got my bib, got my shirt, and this is the expo entrance. So let's go check it out. So this is the park in front of my <clears throat> hotel. There's some people out today. People out on the lawns chilling. There's a little place over there, which I guess is this, the park house. Sandwiches, burgers, waffle fries, veggies. Yum. More porta potties. A softball game going on over there. I'm sitting to my hotel. See, those are the tennis courts right in front of my window. And the pickleball courts right now where they have all the porta potties where the corrals will be. Oh, you can see the corral uh, signs being put up already. Yeah, as you can see, they, they're putting up the corral signs. So I'm at the hotel now. Um, got back from the play and then had something to eat, the leftover pizza, um, did a little stretching so I won't be so stiff. Walked 12,000 steps today, so like six miles. So that's a good warm up for tomorrow, half of the half <laughs> almost. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to chill. I'm watching Jeepers Creepers. It's uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, wind down and then I'll go to sleep and then I'll wake up tomorrow around six o'clock 
to get ready. Um, I'm in the last wave of wave four because I'm slow. <laughs> um, and uh, we start at 8.30 and it, you have to be uh, through the uh, corral gates between 7... Um, between 7.30 and 8.15. So it's right across the street. So it, I should be good. Um, and it'll be a little warmer by then. It'll be, I think, like 52 or something. So not in the 40s. <laughs> um, yeah, so looking forward to it. Hopefully I can um, video some of it. And I'm, I'm not going to video all of it or a lot of it because I'll be running. But I'm hoping to at least catch it, uh, some video of when we're like running by the bridges. I think that will be cool and I'm sure the views will be awesome throughout so I'll try to capture some of it as much as I can um, so yeah so looking forward to tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow bright and early <laughs> good night